Good morning children we will be studying EVS of standard 2 from our EVS book or green world part 2 today we will start chapter number 18 plants around us which is in page number 87 so children in this chapter we will study about different types of plants you can see plants all around you inside your house also and outside also so we see many plants around us some of them are big others are small some plants stand erect others climb along a support some plants creep along the ground so here children you have seen some plants are very big and some are small they have different shape and size some plants stand straight on their own and some others need support so we will study about them all in detail first of all let us study about different parts of the plant a plant has many parts they are the root stem branches leaves flowers and fruits the root grows into the ground it fixes the plant in the ground the stem grows above the ground it has branches leaves flowers and fruits grow on branches green leaves make food for the plant flowers change into fruits seeds are hidden inside the fruits so it's a brief information about the different parts of a plant as you can see a plant has roots stem branches leaves all are marked here children and the root grows into the ground you can see the lower part which is brown in color that is soil the roots grow inside the soil into the ground and it helps the plant to stand straight it fixes it in the ground the stem grows above the ground and the stem holds different other parts of the plant like the leaves the flowers the fruits etc and you know children the green leaves of the plant they make food for the plant they prepare food for the plant and flowers only become fruits later on you can see seeds inside the fruits those seeds only grow into new plant okay so now we will study about different types of plants trees shrubs and herbs are the main types of plants trees are tall and strong plants they have a woody stem called the trunk many branches grow on the trunk the branches spread out to give shade many animals find their shelter under a tree mango neem eucalyptus and banyan are some examples of trees so children we came to know trees are very tall and strong plants and they have woody stem very thick stem which is called trunk and they also live for many years okay and trees give shade to us they give shelter to many different animals and birds birds make their nest on tree when you move out of your house you can see different big plants they are all trees you can see mango tree neem tree banyan tree etc outside your house these are all some examples of trees now let's move to shrubs shrubs are woody plants without a trunk they are plants with several stems growing from the base many branches grow on each stem making a shrub bushy mulberry pomegranate cotton and rose are some of the examples of shrubs so children shrubs are also woody plant but they do not have a trunk many branches grow on its stem making it a bushy shrub okay bushy stem means many branches coming out from a stem okay and some examples of shrubs are rose plant most of you might be having a rose plant at your home 
have a look at it and uh, you may also find hibiscus plant hibiscus flower at your home that is also an example of shrubs now let's move to herbs herbs are small plants with green stems they do not have woody stems grasses are herbs rice and wheat are also herbs some herbs such as mint fenugreek and coriander are used in medicines some herbs are used in cooking so children herbs are very small plants with green and soft stems they do not have woody brown color stems they have green color soft stem grasses are all the examples of herbs rice and wheat they are also examples of herbs some herbs like uh, coriander leaves your mama might be using at home for making chutney that coriander dhania that is also a herb you just pick it at home and have a look how it looks like okay and there are some medicinal plants like mint fenugreek they are all herbs and they are used for cooking also like spinach palak your mama might be using in the kitchen for making palak paneer or things like that that is also a herb spinach spinach is also a herb now some plants climb along a support they need a support to stand erect they are called climbers and they have weak stems grape vine money plant and cucumber are climbers so another type of plant are climbers they are climbing up with the support of a wall or anything they do have by their side they cannot stand straight on their own they are all known as climbers they are called climbers as they climb high with the support of something and uh, they have very weak stem okay grape vine money plant all might be having a money plant at home have a look at it how it is taking the support of anything which is beside it or the wall or a stick to grow okay pea plant that is also an example of a climber now the another type of plants are creepers some plants they creep along the ground they are called creepers creepers also have weak stems pumpkin and watermelon are creepers so children these plants are known as creepers because they creep along the ground they move close to the ground they touch the ground and move and do you know why they do not grow up because the fruits which are growing on creepers are very big and heavy so they can only remain on the ground they cannot grow at height places where they can hang okay they are very heavy that is why creepers they creep along the ground and examples are pumpkin and watermelon you just have a look at watermelon how big it is it is very heavy yes or no it is and they as they have weak stem they cannot move up they grow on the ground so children these are few different types of plants which we have studied that is trees shrubs herbs climbers and creepers go through them in detail next class we will start the uses of plants okay and children subject enrichment work which you have got for evs is from this part only so now this may help you to do the, do the work easily read the chapter thoroughly up till where we have studied learn all hard words we will continue in our next class till then take care thank you